Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Mr. Poole, Big Shore, and Elon Musk appear to be all 1% club members, and we have important relationships with them. Behind the scenes, they are all familiar with each other. Looking at their tweets, we see that Elon Musk tweeted yesterday at 12 hours 32 minutes and 23 seconds, and that the Big Short tweeted at 11 hours 28 minutes and 23 seconds, saying, life is a costume party back. Mr. Pool, for 2922, life is like a big bash. He tells me to meet him at the party and that I should have fun. On the day of the proper ripple party, 150-8 prime, which is 158, or the flip of the switch, Elon Musk reposted this video, so we have no idea what party these people are talking about. Just in time for the Ripple Reel celebration, here's another tweet from Elon Musk, the ducks are in line, number 3, 422 XRP. Howard Moon has also contributed to the conversation. After that, on December 1st, Elon Musk tweeted that ducks can only be seen in a row while moving. The reference to ducks and Isaac Newton is a result of him. And here we may observe Elon Musk's XRP wallet, which contains 16,783,000 XRP. Mr. Poole is the largest XRP ruler, and it states Isaac Newton and Musk, so it's clear that Elon Musk is in possession of XRP. It's safe to assume that Elon Musk and Mr. Poole are connected. XRP is being held by Elon Musk. For the top 1%, there's x.com and the x sign. Then Elon Musk comes out with a huge warning. The Elon Cybertruck, shattered banks, and shards of glass, I can't believe he posted it earlier today. The failure of Silicon Valley Bank on 31023 was therefore brought to my attention. It seems like Elon Musk is trying to warn us about a wave of bank failures. Maybe we'll see Cybertruck OMG in December and the image looks a lot like the shattered glass at Silicon Valley Bank. The SVP crisis was taking place. Gematria Cybertruck and David Schwartz both tweeted images of shattered glass. The clock is ticking down to National Popcorn Day, and if we don't hear anything soon, it could spell the end of the world as we know it. Could a black swan event be on the horizon? Additionally, David Schwartz has provided us with a two-year delta. There will be bumps along the way. X has more active users than PayPal and is currently acquiring licenses in all 50 states, thereby positioning itself to compete directly with PayPal and Venmo. People on Wall Street are wondering how X will survive with ads fleeing. On top of that, they can continue to make money through subscriptions and ads. Another thing to bear in mind, guys, PayPal is incredibly successful, despite having zero ads. Therefore, Elon Musk should not worry about X.com until he has a firm grasp on the matter. In bankruptcy court today, December 4, China's second-largest real estate developer Evergrande is facing dissolution. Global banks hold nearly $1 trillion in bonds and loans of Evergrande RD Company and our failed electric vehicle division. If bondholders don't accept EG's poor solution of taking equity in the insolvent company, Evergrande will be formally dissolved and its assets will be sold off in mass sales, leaving debtors with as little as 0% to 5% repayment. If this were to occur, the markets might experience a black swan event when they take a huge hit. The video ends there. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later. Bye.